yeah uh, students now we will see uh, another set of questions uh, where uh, we need to find the inclinations true inclinations uh, we will see a few of this kind a straight line 85 mm long has one end 15 mm in front of vp and 10 mm above hp while the other end is 50 mm in front of vp and 45 mm above hp draw the plan and elevation plan is nothing but its top view elevation is nothing but its front view of the line determine the inclinations of the line with hp and vp so here determine the inclination with hp is theta and determine the inclination with respect to vp is phi so we need to find we, we need to find the these two angles theta and phi so uh, this we will find so here as usual we start with x y reference line we we notate uh, vp hp for uh, first angle position theme so uh, the first is 10 mm above hp one end is 15 mm in front of vp and 10 mm above hp so 10 mm above hp you draw a thin line and uh, you mark a dash uh, somewhere on the left hand side it will be convenient and then 15 mm you draw one more uh, thin line and uh, exactly below uh, a dash you draw your projector and uh, mark point a so now you have uh, find the first point so a dash and a so this is this is our uh, fixed point now so with respect to this we are going to rotate the second point to get our theta and phi while the other end is 50 mm in front of vp and 45 mm above hp so here 45 mm above hp so from xy reference line it should be 45 mm so 10 plus 35 it is 45 mm and then 50 mm in front of vp so this is 15 already 15 mm we have uh, taken so 35 plus 15 it will become uh, 50 so draw the locus of b so this will become straight away our locus of b dash line and this will be our locus of b right so we got both both the uh, ends locus lines so this is locus of a and a dash and this is locus of a and this is locus of b this will become our locus of b dash so for uh, locus of a dash and uh, a since these two are uh, fixed ends so no need to uh, notate locus as locus so straight away uh, we can uh, start doing this problem so here while the other end is uh, 50 mm right we know the true length so it is very easy uh, to find from a dash 85 mm you cut an arc on this locus of b dash line right you cut an arc so a dash as center 85 mm as radius cut this arc on this locus line so that will become our b1 dash right so once we get a b1 dash we can uh, we can mark this we can uh, dimension this right so this is a dash and b1 dash so till locus of a line we have to draw the projector right we should notate this as b1 right so this is our top view distance now so a b1 is our top view notation top view distance so a as center a b1 as radius rotate till it meets the locus of b so straight away we get the uh, point b right so similarly uh, we can uh, do like this in the in this uh, direction so now a as center we know 85 mm is the true length and cut the arc on locus of b right locus of b so now from b you 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 can mark this as b2 b2 so to get b2 dash till locus of a line we have to project this right so this is again 85 mm no need to do dimensioning here uh, so somewhere it falls uh, at the same point like a b1 uh, and the line same this line so this will become become our b2 dash b2 dash now in the same way a dash b2 dash as radius a dash as center you rotate this till locus of b 
till locus of b this is our direction of rotation and this will be our b dash this will be our b dash now draw the thick line to join b dash and a dash now this is our front view and this is our top view right so to find theta and phi right we need to measure this that's all we have to do right so it is uh, very simple and uh, you can cross check your answer alpha beta right alpha equal to 26 degree i am getting and beta equal to the same 26 right alpha beta you can measure uh, theta and phi also theta and phi also you can uh, write that as determine the inclinations of the line with hp and vp so theta and phi uh, we need to measure i haven't measured here so you please measure and write that as answer so alpha and beta i am getting 26 degrees so this is our uh, the, the uh, this is our final angle right this is our apparent angle so i have found i have found here apparent angles so it is uh, not mentioned right what inclinations we need to find here so it is better you measure theta and phi also right since draw the plan and elevation of the line right and then it is given determine the inclinations so uh, you can either stop with uh, apparent angles or you can proceed to uh, measure theta and phi also so it is better uh, to measure theta and phi if you are getting this 26 degree well and good otherwise please let me know i will also cross check my answer right so next problem a straight line 70 mm long has one end 15 mm in front of vp and 50 mm above hp so it is also same uh, kind of problem true length is given and one end 15 mm in front of vp and other is 50 mm above hp so it is little uh, farther away so uh, the direction the direction uh, is a little uh, differ right so i will uh, show you that while the other end is 35 mm in front of vp and 20 mm above hp draw the plan and elevation of the line so this is the uh, very simple problem only thing is this 50 mm will will uh, uh, make you uh, it, it may confuse you right so uh, that if you are clear with the concept you can easily do this it is nothing uh, difficult so here uh, draw xy reference line and uh, mark the first point so 50 mm above hp so 50 mm you measure and 50 mm you mark here draw the locus line so now this is the first point so first point is little away from xy reference line and uh, 35 20 mm above hp so another point is 20 mm above hp right this is locus of b it is at 20 mm right so locus of a no need to write so even though it is farther away right uh, it, it will be our uh, fixed point always first point is fixed point so this is uh, 15 mm in front of vp the first point is 15 mm in front of vp right 15 mm in front of vp and another end is 35 mm in front of vp so 35 mm in front of vp so that is locus of b locus of b now we got all four locus lines so locus of a dash this is locus of b dash and this is the locus of a and this is the locus of b so no need to mention for a since it is fixed point so now we can mark a dash right so draw the projector and mark a so the, we, we are getting the first point first point so now we know the true length is 70 mm now a dash as center on locus of b line b dash line you cut the arc you you cut the arc so this is 70 mm 70 mm so this is our b1 dash b1 dash now the corresponding top view of this right the corresponding top view of this you have to project up to a line right it locus of a line and this is your b1 this is your b1 and now in the same way right same way you can rotate it and you can uh, directly get the uh, top view right you just rotate it a b1 as radius a as center rotate and get b point b now draw the thick line a b a b thick line now this is your final top view now we can get our front view also right in the same manner 
we can get front view now a as center 70 mm as radius cut the arc on this line right cut arc now this should be notated as b2 right b2 this is b2 now from here we have to project up to locus line of a dash right so project this and get its front view front view right front view this is 70 mm and project here and uh, this is our b2 dash b2 dash now students be careful a dash as center b2 dash as radius you rotate this up to locus of b dash so there is no uh, confusion right so it is uh, same as our earlier steps earlier problems now a dash b2 dash as radius a dash as center rotate this up to locus of b dash same thing we are doing in earlier cases a is little nearer to x square reference line whereas here little away so this is the direction of rotation direction of rotation now this is our final a a dash right sorry b dash b dash now a b you can a dash b dash can be connected with thick line right now you try a projector and check the problem is 100 percent perfect so now we can uh, measure the angles are uh, not asked here so no need to measure right so these are this is the uh, answer only difference here is a dash is little away otherwise it is a regular problem so next problem we will see here a line AB 70 mm long has its end B 25 mm above HP and 30 mm in front of EP. The end A is 55 mm away from the reference planes, right? So end A is little away, end B is little closer. So it is also like a earlier problem A dash we, we got a little away from X Y reference line. Here we are getting both, right? A dash as well as uh, a little away from x y reference line so this is our x y reference line and uh, mark 55 mm this side also 55 mm so mark a dash and a a dash and a so these these two are locus lines of a dash and a so no need to mention them and uh, another end is another end is has its NB 25 mm above HP and 30 mm in front of EB. So even though B is mentioned here, right? Right, uh, it's in B 25 mm above HP and 30 mm in front of EB. So B it is mentioned first, but you you should never take it as first point, right? Always A is the first point. A B A B line is the a, a will become your first point so take a as fixed point and now b locate b 25 mm above hp and 30 mm in front of vp so draw two lines and uh, straight away you can mention as locus of b dash and locus of a now a dash as center right 70 mm as radius cut the arc you cut the arc and this is your this is your true length line true length line this is your true length line right this is your true length line 70 mm so draw a thin line now you got the front view and uh, this is the upper and front it is now it is actual front view sorry it is true front view true line true line uh, in front view and uh, this is this is the a b1 so a b1 is your top view is your top view right so now a as center a b1 as radius you have to rotate always till locus of b right locus of b so this is the direction of arrow uh, direction of rotation and now you are getting b straight away b now connect with thick line so the first projection you have obtained right now you you you, you have to do the same exercise here also right so this is your uh, front view so now a as center 70 mm as radius you cut the arc you cut the arc on locus of b now this is your b2 this is your b2 now project up to a right up to locus of a now you project up to locus of a right you will get b2 dash right 
now a dash has centered a dash b2 dash has radius you rotate up to locus of b dash this is the direction of rotation right since it is a little away the direction is in reverse order you are getting that you can make a note of it right so this will become our b dash so straight away b dash you can draw thick lines right you can cross check this and this is alpha and this is beta right and uh, this is the this is the projector which connects b dash and b it is uh, lying on the same straight line so alpha i am getting 27 degree right so here draw the projections and find its inclination with hp and vp so it is clearly given draw the projections and find its inclination so projection inclinations it means that it is alpha and beta so alpha is 27 degree and beta i am getting 23 degree right so please cross check your answer if you are getting the same answer uh, it is uh, i have done everything correctly right we, st we stop here uh, we will see a uh, few more uh, problems in next session